What's going on, YouTube world? It's your boy, John T. Grove, and we back with another vending video. Today is a special treat. I'm going to go pick up two machines. I'm going to be getting a snack machine and a soda machine. And guess what? I'm getting them two for 350 What a deal. What a deal. Let's go see. Check them out. We're going to be driving about 45 minutes out from the crib to go check these machines out. It's in uh, this lady's shed. So, we'll see. I got a location for both of them already. So, that's kind of how I want to do it. Get the location, get the machine, place the machine. All right? Simple as that. So, um, I'm actually going to be headed to the U-Haul place because I don't own a pickup truck. Don't really have any friends with a pickup truck. So, I'll be heading over to the U-Haul. So, <clears throat> all right. We out. All right, so while I was on my way to pick up the U-Haul uh, truck, one of my locations, they had called me a few days ago saying that one of the candy machines was actually not giving out enough candy. It was, uh, sometime it would give out maybe 10 pieces, sometime it would give out two pieces. So um, I just picked it up. I'm gonna take it home, I'm gonna service it because I only have time to do it there because uh, I'm pretty sure some of the stuff I'm going to have to probably open up the little slots. I don't know the proper name for them, but I'm going to probably open the slots up a little bit bigger. Um, so, whatever. She said people were complaining about it. We don't need that because I don't want you to kick it out. Right? So, um, so I'm parking my car at my job, which is down the street from the U-Haul uh, place. So, it's a win-win. Right? That was up the street. My job in the middle, and now I got to walk over to the U-Haul and pick up this U-Haul. So, all right, that was a little update. This is it right here. It's not too bad. It's in the garage. It's actually not that big, but it's perfect though. So, hopefully this bill acceptor works. Let's see, it's actually not a big machine, so let's pull it out. All right, a lot of hard work to get this in. Got the keys for this one. So that's pretty cool. The bill acceptor, we'll see if that works. This one that was a beast getting that one in there. I was about to see how this is. I got help from a neighbor, so that was cool. Let's see if this opens up. See this face? This is the face that somebody put in some hard ass work. <laughs> oh my God, listen man. For them little machines, them things was heavy. Them things was heavy. Lesson learned, don't come out here by yourself, man. For real. Now, I got lucky because the lady was actually doing a move out and I'm all out of breath, God damn. <laughs> the lady was doing a move out and um, the guys actually helped, so I just tipped them, you know, gave them 20 bucks a piece. Because that last machine, man, was heavy. And then the freaking, I guess the, the motor or whatever it is for the soda machine fell out the bottom. Uh, because there was no screws in there. So I'm hoping that that didn't mess up with the machine. Now, push, cut, and shove, I flip them. Right, like I mean, literally, I was supposed to get both machines for 350. Uh, she gave me both machines for 100 dollars a piece. So you now I mean, I actually end up making out on the deal. So even if it don't work, or if they don't work, maybe I can part them out, or I can flip them. So the hustle ain't done. Um, it is what it is. Now I'm on my way back home. Got about 45 minute drive. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to take these machines out by myself. 
but it's cool because it's a shot to the garage and I can just slide them right in there. Um, yeah, I should have ate breakfast. <laughs> I should have ate breakfast. And I'm actually about to see what's up with these machines when I get home, man. Because, um, like I said, hopefully they work, they turn on. Um, you know, I didn't really check the machine out as much as I probably should have. You know, it's an older woman, husband died. She was just trying to get rid of them. So, like I said, push come to shove. The worst is the worst. I'm literally going to just flip the machines, put them back on Craigslist, put them on Alpha Up, Facebook Marketplace, and I could probably get maybe 300 for the both of them. You know what I mean? I get 300 a piece, so, and I can, you know, probably get a better machine because um, at the moment, uh, I got to check them out before I put them anywhere. So, look at that little bead of sweat. So, I'll see you when I get home. I forgot how many days this is, but I think this is 20... 24 days so let's see 24 day collection all right all right key stood all right sit you down right here for a sec i don't know i dropped it sorry y'all There we go. All right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right. All right. All right, so let's see. Let's put this here. There's a bunch of quarters in here. Wow, that's a lot of quarters. Right. Sorry. Trying to get a good angle. Oh, that was the money man right there. Make sure all the quarters are out. So that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Let me count this up. So this is at my house. It's not on location. Because I had to go and remove the machine to fix it up. But it's definitely a good location. Um... Not so much the Skittles, but I'm kind of, you can see, I don't know. That one was empty. This was all filled up to about this line here. So, we'll see. All right, all right. see, we back. Back in full effect, man. Uh, had to change up the outfit because uh, I had to work the 9 to 5 tonight. It's a night work. And I've been running all day long. But it's all about the hustle. It's all about the grind. Um, pulled them quarters out the machine. It was actually $54.75. And that was just from one month. So, and everything wasn't even empty, as you can see from the previous video. So, I'm going to fix the machine when I get home tomorrow morning, uh, fill up the candy, put it back, and put it back in rotation. Um, I end up actually having to get a storage unit for the um, vending machines because it was supposed to go into a location, and uh, it didn't work out today for me getting it to the location. But it's all right, you know, pay the cost to be the boss. So, now I got a storage unit. Um, guy hooked me up guy hooked me up he gave me um the first two months for free right so that's not bad um it's a nice storage unit i got both of the units in there but i'm gonna move them out hopefully within the next week and i'm probably gonna just use it for uh the bulk candy like if i um buy a big bulk uh size um candy machines i'm probably gonna just use it for that because access is a little bit easier uh so it is what it is but hey man that was today thank you guys for being with me don't forget to like subscribe comment at the bottom and don't forget i got the podcast you can check me out at the vending machine masterpiece same name same game same change